Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about factoring using all the techniques combined. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, x to the ninth minus x to the sixth minus x to the third plus one, and we gotta factor this. Well, one thing I notice here is I can see some groups. If I group the first two parts, if I can see that, and then group the second two parts, but be careful, that subtraction was going to the x to the third. So to cancel that distribution that would happen, I gotta put a minus sign right there in the one. So with this, we can pull out a common term. Well, x to the six is in both parts here. So I pull out an x to the six here, and I'm left with an x to the third minus one. The left, the right one, well, there's nothing really common, but I'm just going to pull out a 1 so we can see it. And we have an x to the third minus 1, like this. Now, hopefully you can see x to the third minus 1 is written twice. So this is our grouping. We pull that out, x to the third minus 1, and we're left with, well, that x to the sixth minus 1. And this is where it really gets tricky. x to the sixth minus 1. How does that factor? Well, this is almost like a quadratic form, the b value being zero. This comes out to be an x to the third plus one times an x to the third minus one. One times negative one is a negative one. When we add them together, we get zero. x to the third times x to the third, x to the sixth. So now the right one, this one's a little different. This one that we're actually gonna use the difference of cubes, okay? We have our x to the third, which is a cube, but one is also a cube. One cubed is one. So using our formula, the difference of cubes, we have an x minus one here times, it's gonna be a x squared plus one times x, which will just be x, plus one squared, which is, well, one. And so going down, we can simplify this a little more here, okay? Well. Anything else we can really break down here and, oh, look at that. We use x to the third minus one and we just found the difference of cubes here. We can actually do that again a second time, right? If we do it a second time here, right, because it's the same thing. So let's go break that down. So this one right here is an x minus one times an x squared plus x plus one we just found then we have an x minus 1 and an x squared plus x plus 1. But then I have another question. Isn't the x to the third plus 1 also the sum of cubes? Using that formula here, we have a, well, x plus 1 times x squared, uh, I'm looking at my notes here, minus x, and then it's plus a 1. Well, one, x times 1 would be the x, and then 1 squared, 1. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here, but we can actually simplify it down some. The x plus 1 doesn't have anything it combines with, right? But notice we have an x squared minus 1x, or sorry, 1x plus 1. Bring that here. But then the x minus 1 is written twice. So we can see that as an x minus 1 squared. Same thing with the x squared plus x plus 1 is written twice. Again, x squared plus x plus 1 squared. And so our final answer after all of this is x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1 times x minus 1 all squared plus x squared plus x plus 1 all squared. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.